black, green, and vegan. Okay, so you guys liked my burgers and gravy so much last week. And those were store-bought burgers. In my book, Red, Black, Green, and Vegan, um, I teach you how to make your own uh, veggie burgers, just using what you have. And what I had here was asparagus, potatoes, onions, uh, put in some bean flour, and you know, uh, lots of spices. Now, I'm really curious as to whether or not this, this, this creation is going to work because I didn't cook the potatoes first. So we'll see if they get done. Um, all right, but anyway, veggie burgers are, are no brainer. And what you can do is just make your patties, put them in the freezer, and then you know wrap them up, and then you know cook them as you need them. So you can make enough for the week. All right, I hope you're having a great day. Hey, Rebecca and Vegan. So I'm over here cooking my brown sauce. To put on my homemade veggie patties or burgers. Ooh, what does burger mean? I don't know if you should be using that word as plant-based people. But anyway, gravy's really easy to make. I've asked you guys a couple times that you want me to teach you how, and nobody said anything, so I'm gonna assume you all know how. So this is it. Uh, it's very savory. It's got Himalayan sea salt in it, and I don't usually use black pepper, but I put a little black pepper in here. And then some, you know, some of the great spices. All right, I hope you're having a great day. And hey, watch out for the doggy dog. Red, black, green, and vegan. So here is the final plated product of the asparagus red onion small red potato uh, veggie patty with some homemade gravy. Uh-huh, how we look? Yes, it tastes really good. The gravy is almost a little bit too hot with pepper, so I have to slow my roll on that one. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.